DLC for Tower Unite is here, kind of, in a in a strange way. The Tower Unite supporter pack. This was just uh, brought in a couple of hours ago. I got home, saw a little notification that this was available, so we're going to check it out and see exactly what's in this DLC. Is it downloadable content? Sort of, yes, but it's more of just supporting the developers and getting a couple extra little bonus rewards in reward for that, in return for that. We'll go with that. Uh, so $14.99 basically just goes straight to the developers. And with that, let's just take a look here about the content. If you like us and you love Tower Unite, please consider supporting us through the supporter pack. We're a small team that relies on fan support to keep the project alive. Buying the supporter pack will directly help us cover the development costs as we work to make Tower Unite the best it can be. The supporter pack comes with a few gifts to show our appreciation. We tried to keep them similar to the other rewards that we've given in the past to those who have helped to fund the game. Okay, so the gifts are a name tag, don't know what that is, the speed shoes, which is very fun to have. Those used to be uh, backer items for people who had backed the game when the game was first coming out. So not the Patreon backers, but the actual backers from Kickstarter days. So I never actually have these, so we're going to get them today, which is pretty cool. Equipable in the hotbar in the other tab, and then a supporter condo trophy, placeable condo item. Something tells me it looks a lot like what we see right there. And then it does say more gifts are going to be added in the future, and it will be showing up a little bit later. But yes, so Tower Unite, downloadable DLC starter pack content. I don't think it's DLC, but it says right there, and I'm going to keep calling it that, because that's just how I am. $15, so... About the cost of the game itself, uh, there has been an increase of the cost of the game from $20 to $25, and they've also now dropped this on us, so we could talk about that at the end of the video. But let's see what this has in it. We're going to add this to the cart, buy it, and just check it out. Okay, and here they are right behind my big dumb face. Now they're above my big dumb face. These Speedy Shoes supporters, so it is in my little inventory right now which is very fun, so uh, I don't know how we could do this. We'll uh, just sort of compare how long it takes me to walk from over here, starting at the shadow, and then just going over to the end. I do have a video going over the fastest modes of transportation in Tower Unite, which you could always check out if you would like to support me a little bit further. But there we go. Took a couple of seconds with that. Um, where am I going to find this? I guess it's in the other tab. Speedy Shoe Support. Throw those in there. Yeah, quite a bit faster. Um, I thought I'd have to like time this or do a side-by-side. -side. I think it's uh, quite a bit faster. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Zip it around. This isn't even sprinting. This is sprinting. Wow, that's almost too fast. I bet we could have some fun with this in a future video. But yeah, um, I am not used to going this fast. I almost have to take them off just because they're too speedy. There we go. Speedy shoes. Very, very speedy. And I guess just for the fun of it, let's put our little uh, Tower Unite trophy somewhere up top in here. I don't know where it is, but we will find it. Oh, here it is. Underneath the exclusive tab, where the special tab is. Special exclusive supporter trophy. Not in stores. It's so tiny. It's a little tiny thing. And it's all golden. Spin it so it looks at me. Supporter. I did it. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger. Um, let's go threes. There we go. Now I look amazing. So there we go. A little supporter trophy. And then we have that name tag. That little name tag. I'm not sure where that would be. Is that under... I'm hitting buttons that I don't know what I'm hitting. Is that under my... Oh my gosh. Advanced edit mode. How did I get here? Oh, look at that. Okay, so I did have to turn the game off and then turn it back on. I did that on purpose, not because I got to menus that scared me. But there we go. I am a patron. I am a supporter. I am the host with the most. Ain't that very fun. So yeah, you don't see it uh, with this. Is there a way to see my name? There's not with just me here. But I bet if you were to walk up to me, if you see me in the game, you'll see me with both of those little things in there. So let's hop into a lobby, see if we see anyone who is actually with that. And here we are in a server. Shout out to Moxie, who is also a supporter. Let's see if we could find Moxie. There you go. So how many pets can you have? 
uh, six or so. I can't count that high, but there we go. So Moxie there, the uh, unintended target of this video, that's what you would look like if you have the support, and that's what I would look like if you could see it above me. Thank you, Moxie. Shout out to you. But yes, that's exactly uh, what this little uh, purchasable content will get you. Um, let's throw those shoes on again, because those are kind of fun. Let's throw them on and just kind of zip around. Whee! Yeah, again, this is not me even sprinting. I would, I'd go so far as to say that I'm going faster walking than I am sprinting normally. So let's, uh, let's really take a look here. We'll see just how long this will take here. Three, four, five, about five seconds. And then sprinting with the other ones. Yeah, this is faster than actually just sprinting right there. Five, six, seven, significantly faster. So those speedy shoes will really put a zip in your step. They are not needed in this game. They're kind of just a fun little support item, but it is very fun to have them. You know, I want. I said I'd want every single item that this game has to offer. I am one step closer now that I have these speedy shoes. They used to be available only for the people who supported the game way back in the day, and now they're available for people who are wanting to support it now. So I think that is a very fun little reward to actually have. So let me know what you think of it. Um, you know, I'm just gonna, wow, I'm not used to moving this fast. Let's park up here real quick, and then we can just talk a little bit about the extra content just in general. So that is what the supporter pack has to offer. It's not a ton, but it is a support pack. It's going for the developers so they can continue to work on the game and potentially fund all sorts of other fun little projects and stuff like that. Are you going to consider buying it? Are you going to consider not buying it? Did I talk you out of it or something like that? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about the current situation with the Tower Unite crew and everything like that? Now, I will say... Before I head off here, I have not been in contact with the developers in any way, shape, or form, and we're going to give my honest opinion on what's going on here. So, Tower Unite has had an increase of the price of the game, going from $20 to $25, or something like that. It's up a little bit. Don't quote me exactly on that. And then, of course, the support back here. There's also always the option for Patreon, which is something that I've been doing since I started playing the game, and I'm perfectly fine doing that. I've always seen this as a game that I spend a lot of time, and I've only purchased it the one time with the Patreon stuff like that. I'm perfectly fine throwing a few dollars towards the developers, and the support pack is nothing that hurts me. I've got a job, and I play this game. I've got over a thousand hours in this game. Take my money. That's how my personal opinion is on it, and this may not be the opinion that you share for this game either. Maybe you don't have as many hours in the game, maybe you don't really enjoy the game. You've played it a few times, but ugh, whatever, and you just don't feel like supporting it all that much more. There's really no problem with that. Uh, do I think Tower Unite and the Pixel Tail crew, do I think it's dying? I don't think it's dying, and it's a very bad word to use. I just think that it's a financial struggle, if I were to make a more uh, light-sounding term. Dying does sound, you know, a little bit extreme, you know, going for the throat, trying to kill something there. I think this is the series of safety nets that the developers are starting to put up because things are costing a little bit more, and I imagine making a game paying people is quite difficult to do. Inflation's up a little bit, so... This is their way to sort of combat all of that and to keep the game going in the way that it's supposed to be going. I don't know anything about making a game or what's going on with that. This is just my genuine kind of impression of what's going on here. The developers are just sort of putting a couple safety nets up so they can continue to work on the game. And obviously, if the game was in the perfect state, they wouldn't need to have these safety nets. So stuff is happening, and it's probably not the greatest thing, you know, going on right now. But it is what's going on. So are you going to consider buying the support pack? Are you not going to consider buying the support pack? Let me know. Um, I have seen plenty of conversations with the developers. They seem to be as adamant as they can be about not adding actual microtransactions into this game. They will never touch this game as long as these developers are still the ones who are making it. So... That seems to be like the absolute final thing that would ever be added, and this is just their way to sort of combat that and offer a couple of fun little items for people who are willing to, uh, you know, fork over a little bit extra money just to uh, help them out. Is this a good thing? 
you know, time will tell. Maybe this video is going to age poorly, but I think they're doing just fine right now. If you want to buy the support pack, go ahead. I think it's uh, got some very fun items in there for those of us who have just been looking for extra things here. That sun is really coming in. Don't want to blind all of you. But yeah, I'm perfectly fine forking over the money, and it's just something that doesn't really bother me at all. What do you think? If you are not buying the support pack, let me know your thoughts. What do you think about the state of the game and everything like that? Let's have a conversation. Let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you all in a future video.